Hi guys, another episode of my bargain store project. Uh, this time we've got a 5 LED, let's see if I can get that in shot, 5 LED rear bike light. Uh, clips onto the back, back of your bike. Uh, two flashing modes and three running light modes. Requires two AAA batteries. I've actually used one of these on one of my other projects, so I've got a pretty good idea of how it works. Very simply, that's the button that turns it on and off and sequences it through the flashing lights. If I just take it apart... There's our five LEDs, space for two AAA batteries. And if I unscrew it, right, take and screw out. All we've got, it's very, very simple again. One little black blob that does the sequencing of the lights. Power goes in at this end. And that end is where the push switch makes contact. And that's the job. So the plan is, I'll desolder the LEDs, put bits of wire in to replace them, and then on the end of those bits of wire I'll fit two LEDs. So we'll end up with ten LEDs, or five pairs, so that'll be five pairs of eyes for five rats, whose eyes will then flash in sequence. So that's the general idea. I'm not sure whether I'll actually leave it in here and use these batteries or whether I'll use external batteries to give us a bit more power. I think I'll try it in here first and see how long it lasts and if I find I need more power to run 10 LEDs then I'll have to change the battery system. But if I leave it in here I've got the advantage of still having the push button to step through the sequence. So next step will be to desolder those LEDs carefully because they're a bit close to the uh, black blob. But if I can get them off then I can have an external set of lights for the eyes. Well that worked out nicely. Those LEDs came out very easily. So I should be able to put some lengths of wire in there and extend it out for the eyes. There's all the wires put in place to extend the LEDs. So I'll just stick that back together. I've put fairly short wires on because what I'm going to do is put them all onto what I would call a chocolate block, uh, electrical connectors, so that I can then connect whatever length wires I want to go to the rats. So that will be fairly close to there and then I can put extension leads on out to the individual rats. Anyway, I'll just put that together and put some LEDs in here just to test it. Right, there we are. I've stuck some temporary LEDs directly into the chocolate block, as I call it. I'll just turn that light out so you can see a bit easier. And then if I press the button, wherever it is, at that end, you can go through the different sequences. So I should now be able to put some extension wires on there to go to each of my rats. The only thing is the rats are up in the loft at the moment, 
put away since last Halloween, so I've got to get my ladder out and get up in the loft. So we'll do that in a minute. Coming on nicely, I think. Okay, we've got the rats. All we need to do is fit the LEDs in the eyes and connect them up to the sequencing uh, rear backlight as it was. I was looking for some suitable cable to join them all together with and uh, it's silly prices to buy some simple two wire cable in the hardware store. Um, came across this, a telephone extension lead, 12 metres, in my 99p sh shop. And I thought, well that's 12 metres of cable, I'm not going to be putting a lot of voltage through it, so it might be enough. I think it's actually four wire in there, so um, I could even double them up to uh, reduce the resistance. So we'll have a look. Another thing I spotted in my 99p store, this is in the lead up to Christmas, is 15 multicoloured mini LED lights. We've got green, blue, yellow and red there. And I thought that might make the rats look more interesting if I give them different coloured eyes. So uh, <laughs> I'm actually spending more money on these rats than I really wanted to, but it might make it a little bit more interesting. So I'll have a, li a little, um, I don't know what a group of rats are called. I'll call them a gang of rats, but I'm sure I could Google it and find out. A pack, I suppose. Pack of rats? Yeah. Well, I shall have a pack of rats with eyes that flash in sequence, but they'll be different coloured eyes. Some red, some green, some blue, some yellow, I hope, if I can get these LEDs to work. Right, that's that telephone extension cable stripped back. As I say, it's got four wires in it. It looks like it's copper, so I think I'll use them a pair, so, just to say, to reduce the resistance. Uh, it's a shame it's not black, actually. I don't know if I'll be able to colour it with a marker pen or something, so it's not quite so obvious in the dark. But uh, I shall use that. I shall have a look at these LEDs now. First thing to notice is I've got a nice little battery box with an on-off switch on it which I can use for a totally different project. It's nice and they tied a knot in it. So what I'll do next is see if I can get in there and desolder them. It looks like it's some sort of sealed wax. Well, maybe it's just the... That may be some shrink down plastic they've used. Let's see if we can get in there. These aren't strong enough. Now that I've stripped it back a bit, I can see what it is. It's actually a, a plastic insert between the LED legs to stop them shorting together. So I'll, I'll leave that on there. <laughs> but anyway, I can get to my LEDs. So I'll desolder them and see if I can use them for the eyes. 
Right, now to stick the eyes in the rats. I've drilled holes in their eyes. I've cut a little slot down the back there. Poke the wires down. I should put, put a bit of hot glue on each LED and push it in. And then I shall join these wires to my extension leads to feed back to the main chocolate block. Right then, project finished. Uh, well, just about. The only thing I'm going to do after this is see if I can colour the white wires black, or at least darken them in some way. But I've left them white so it's clear to see what I've actually done. So we've got our five rats. A bit of wire going round to the bicycle rear light. I'm shooting this in semi-darkness just so we can get the right effect. So I just stand my camera down there, get hold of the bike light, press the button. There we go, got their eyes on. Press the button again. That's fast flicker. Press the button again. Slow flash. Press the button again. Sequence. Press the button again. Slightly different sequence. Press the button again. Flashing again. Press the button again. I think that's sort of the same sequence but a bit slower. Yeah, it does a double flash on each one. Press the button again and they're out. So there we go. Uh, that's Bargain Store Project number 9, I think. Completed. Uh, the purpose of the project was actually to use this bicycle rear light to power the eyes in these racks. Uh, what I did was I extended all the, well at least I extended from where the LEDs used to be with bits of wire, put them onto a chocolate block so I could get to them easily, then used telephone extension wire. Uh, that's Each of those is now about uh, two meters long. And then I've got five rats. Uh, they're my Halloween rats from last year. Uh, come from the 99p store, I think. Two for a pound, or in the 99p store, two for 99p. Um, but they're the additions to the project. The actual project was making use of the bicycle light. I'm quite pleased with that. That's worked out nicely. That should be just in time to go out for my Halloween party. Oh yeah, and I got those um, coloured LEDs from the 99p shop as well. It's a string of 15 LEDs. They don't flash in the kit they come with. I've desoldered them and used them for this. Just thought it was a convenient way of quickly getting hold of some coloured LEDs. Pleased with that.